Johnson here. Just want to let the cafeteria staff know to lay off the Soylent Green. I'm holding a memo from the president, and it turns out that Soylent Green is, let's see here, doubling in price. Now, listen up. I don't care how good people taste. This stuff's costing me more than lobster, so we're going back to fish sticks. Hello, YouTube. This is Bungle. This is my second portal video. I'm going to do a little commentary here. I was going to try to be funny in my commentary, but Cave Johnson beat me to it. I cannot top that. If you um, get stuck at the bottom of the shaft, you just have to start the map over. You have to hit escape and start over. I try to put a little suicide button in there in case you got stuck so you wouldn't have to do that, but it ended up being distracting and misleading, so I pulled it out. Um, it is what it is. I like the shaft. The shaft is going to stay, so either you like it or you don't. It grows on you. Move quickly through here because three turrets are aimed at you. Basically that little red uh, switch that I'm standing on is the only safe spot to stand right there. You have turrets on either side, they will shoot you if you move. Please take time to appreciate the handsome ceiling and the reflection it casts in the water. Make sure you grab this box before it gets away from you. If it does, you won't be able to chase it down. The turret will kill you once you get in range. You have to quickly exit right there, set it down in the switch, which turns the laser on, and that will kill all four turrets for you. The switch also turns on three light bridges down below. I just put those in as a failsafe in case you make it across without the final box. You need the final box to turn that last switch to open up the exit door. If you don't get the box the first time, you can just walk across the light bridges and do the second half of the map again. And it's not a big deal because the turrets are already dead now. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you didn't use this video to skip my puzzle because it was fun. Phil knew that a Mr. Bungle wouldn't have many friends. He wouldn't want to be like Mr. Bungle.